The shooting happened somewhere anyone could be. An everyday place turned into a horrific crime scene. Our Justina Cornell sat down with a trauma therapist today to learn how these shootings affect our mental health. Mass shooting again. When's the next one? It's almost becoming the norm for us these days. St. Louis may be 1,200 miles away from El Paso. It's like mass chaos. You just don't know what's going to happen day by day. But strangers extending their hearts to the innocent lives taken in another mass shooting. Being a norm, I think, is abnormal. This is an abnormal thing. Something has to stop. Normal everyday activities <laughs> have now become traumatic events, according to trauma therapist Rochelle Moore. And mass shootings like the one in Texas can actually affect you in several ways. It does affect the way that we respond. It affects the way that we view. Moore says it can either desensitize you. What's happening is what should be triggering in the front of their brain is no longer sending those signals. Or you can even become overly sensitive to it. So anything can become a threat. Anything can be um, harmful to us. You know, we're, we no longer feel safe. So for us, then the safety becomes I'm home. For some, it can even be a trigger to our own past experiences. Try not to bring that experience that past experience into your present experiences. If we stay in the past experiences, then we'll be stuck and we can't move forward. Children can also be affected. The best advice for parents trying to explain what's happening is to let the child leave the conversation. In doing that, you're giving them the permission to talk about what it is that they're feeling. But no matter how old you are, Moore adds everyone should express how they feel when something like this happens. People need the permission to know that it's okay to not be okay. Be able to say why you feel that way so you recognize your emotion so that you can relate to it and release it. Moore tells me there are several coping mechanisms to deal with a trauma like this. Anything to get your body moving is a good outlet, such as working out or even writing down your feelings can be effective. But simply just talking about it can also make you feel better. Jenna. Justina, thank you. Condolences are pouring in from the victims of the shooting in El Paso. Here are just a few of the comments of what people, neighbors, local leaders and celebrities are saying. To recap, 20 people shot dead inside a shopping center in El Paso, Texas. Another 26 people hurt. We'll continue to follow this story and we'll have the latest information on our website, ksdk.com, and on our mobile app.